<laughs> I did not expect that, you guys. <laughs> So we are walking to Sagrada Familia. And Hindi Martin. Eh? Eh? Wait. You? Wait! What? Okay, so after like a 35 minute walk, Dure. You can see Sagrada Familia. In between the trees. Can you see? Can you see? Look at that. You got across. That is it. So something you should know. It's very complete idea. Sagrada Familia. It's only finishing in some 2026 because uh donations on the Nana Avra other on and started in some 1800 and something I think just google it up I don't know whether my information is right but that's crazy right it's still unfinished after all these years so this is a typical gaudy architecture I mean gaudy as in not gaudy but <laughs> the person gaudy Antoni gaudy or something uh, google it really interesting stuff really interesting work the tiles tile work very nice check that out you guys Crazy. That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful, you guys. So finally we made it. Check that out. It's so freaking beautiful. It's insane. Just my gosh. Entry on our exit like you're doing. Yeah. He's so tired, Baba. But look at this. Alright, so right now we've reached the front of the Sagrada Familia. So the minor basilica I did 2010, uh, the Pope uh, did the ceremony or whatever. So it's a minor basilica now. But the funny thing is that 1883 construction under another uh, architect, Francisco, someone. But Chef Karshana Gaiyanjote, Gaudi took over, Antonio Gaudi, who's a Catalan, who's from here. Uh, and our example is Ornis Talatola. A crazy form of architecture on her and it's still unfinished. 2026 and finish even in the So imagine they've been building it from 1882 83 to like 2022 and still going strong. My gosh! And as I said, it's from donations. So so we just finished the security check and here we are. So we were listening to the audio book. Idana, then a nativity facade. So Iuru facade matra mana Antoni uh, Gaudi complete here there before you know others had to take over. Uh, and it's beautiful. I mean a nativity scene on a different theater. So you've got the birth of Christ, the shepherds, the wise men, the kings, the angels, the guiding star. Abada you've got Mary on a I think a donkey with Joseph. East side like you've got like young Jesus. It's amazing. I think they just proposed in here. That is so cool. That is so sweet though. Oh sweet. She just proposed to her and then she said yes. Inside the Sagrada Familia, lots of history, you guys. Kaparnya a little bit too much. You guys should just Google it. But it's so beautiful. So basically, uh, the whole uh, church or temple is built like a forest. So as you can see, Mola Nokia, it's all like a forest. So these are all trees and branches going up. So the branches and the trunks is holding up 
the ceiling, you know, and it's so, so, so beautiful. And I love this glass work. And of course, that's crucified Christ. So that's the entrance. And that's the old Sagrada Familia still under construction. design it's complete but share they have not kept it abida irikum madre oru facade and ivide give us this day our daily bread catalan la ege ku vanna and chuttum bakkilla bhashagalum eduthittundu it's just so 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 beautiful i love it and this church and the music just feels divine so much of information that i don't want to cram into this So you should definitely come here and experience it but it's beautiful out to the other side which is equally beautiful my gosh nammal nadannu vannonde ka nammal nadannu vannappo kandu facade aanu idu so that's the announcement saying adakki aanu i'm guessing because it's 8 o'clock and that's the time it shuts but check that out That one, can you see what that is? Bar Barcelona, there. I mean, the football team. It's crazy. It's everywhere. It's like their own part of this country. <laughs> They're crazy. And what I love, my favorite bit about this whole church, architecture-wise, are the doors. I mean, they are just, just so meaningful and so beautiful. Like full-on, like. It's neo-Gothic. I mean, it's Gothic, but like Art Nouveau, like right there. Oof! Just look at it. It's so beautiful, and every, all all of them, right? Here, the Matrola. There's like another one here, which is spectacular. Front door you already saw. Check that. Amazing, right? And there's another one there, which is e like equally better. Equally better, like even better. All of them are great. Check this one out. Like insane, right? The bhangi. So yeah, that's pretty much my little walk into Sagrada Familia. Is so beautiful. And I think we can just go to the chapel this way. So you can see that the construction is happening all over. Hopefully by 2026. So this is an area called Example, Mallorca Example, E I X A M P L E. I don't know how you pronounce it. After the Mallorca, and this is like a nice place too to chill. So 
we're gonna go find a restaurant, get a drink. It's so tired. Drink is in like normal, no alcohol. But yeah, too much of it in this trip. <laughs> so that's the direct metro to Sagrada Familia, which is the stop. And as I said, what's craziest is construction still going on. Like what? Check this out. For all you Barca fans. <laughs> Messy deck. Entrance is free, you guys. like a FCB museum <laughs> so this is the FCB lab and that's their intention nice so they have posters with history which is a compilation of Vasa's printed work Khare fragile Anna, but hasn't stood the test of time but they still managed to get an exhibition all of that which is probably up there but I'm worried about if I don't know something based in football, you guys will hit me, I think. So, yeah. Barca's anniversaries, Sigrelez, Lepadea, Mio, Tapies, but I could work with them. I brushed up on my Barcelona history also, guys. <laughs> anyway, that was interesting, actually. Like, you can see how proud they are of, you know, FCB. You can see I'm so tired today. It's crazy. Okay, so now I have to get some food. I haven't hardly eaten anything. So that's Sagrada Familia. And lots and lots and lots of like souvenir shops around the area. And look what that restaurant is called. It's called Picasso. How cool. And this is Plaza Catalonia by night. Hardly anyone. 